Hey everybody, some gadget guy here with another Windows 10 quick tip. I've really been enjoying using Windows 10 on my Lenovo ThinkPad Helix 2. Multi-mode devices really shine with the updates to this operating system. And for those of you in the same boat, you enjoy using Windows 10 and you can walk away from your older installation of Windows 7 or Windows 8. Here's a quick tip for you to free up a little storage space. Coming down into my file explorer here, I've got 161 GBs free of the 224 built into the solid state drive on this hybrid. But running Windows Windows 10 is an upgrade Microsoft has held on to my previous installation of Windows 8. So let's find out how much space I'm going to reclaim by deleting that older installation. Gonna minimize this here. I'm gonna come down to start and I'm just gonna start typing free up disk space by deleting unnecessary files. All I needed to type was the word free, fantastic. We're gonna click on this right here. It's gonna take us to one part of the control panel and disk cleanup is calculating how much space you will be able to free up. Now the files we're looking for are not actually going to be in the standard disk cleanup. We wanna come down to clean up system files. So we're gonna click on this button right here. It's gonna do another scan. This one might take a little bit longer. So I think I'm just gonna fast forward through this scan right quick. And now we have a few more options to look at. I'm gonna keep scrolling down to previous Windows installations where I can free up 20.6 GBs. So I'm gonna leave the rest of these alone just cause I haven't actually <laughs> investigated what all I, uh, I might be deleting. But I'm gonna come over here to this previous Windows installation. I'm gonna click on this 20.6, wow. And now I'm gonna hit okay. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Yes, please, Microsoft, delete these files. If you clean up the previous installations or temporary installation files, you will no longer be able to restore the machine back to the previous version of Windows. Are you sure you want to do this? I'm having a great time on Windows 10, so I'm going to say yes. If you're one of those people out there that are having some issues with your Windows 10 installation, this is definitely not something you wanna be doing until you know for certain that you've been able to work out all the kinks. But like I said, I'm doing fine, so I'm gonna get me my GBs back. Again, we've got a cleaning up drive Windows slider bar and I'm gonna fast forward again so that we can go back to the file explorer and see how much room I've reclaimed. And the slider disappeared. That took around four, almost five minutes to go through. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and come back into a fire file explorer window and I've got 175 GBs, <laughs> not quite the full 20 they reported in the free up disk space control panel tool, but I'll happily take some space on my solid state drive. So folks, that's how you can clean up a little extra storage space on your computer after installing Windows 10. Again, just to reiterate, only do this if you're feeling really good about your installation of Windows 10. If you're having any troubles, having any problems, you should probably instead use that saved old installation to go back to Windows Windows 7 or Windows 8 until Microsoft works the kinks out. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe for more tutorials like these, and I would not be able to continue producing on this channel if you all weren't out there supporting it, either by hitting the fan funding, shopping using my Amazon affiliate links, or by sharing my videos on your favorite social sites like Twitter and Google Plus and Reddit and the Facebook. So please keep bringing more cool people to the party. Hit that thumbs up button, and I will catch you all on the next tutorial.